we welcome you to ESPN College Football on ABC under gray skies here in Seattle. The boats have arrived out on Lake Washington. They've been tailgating, but now the fans have headed inside Husky Stadium for the Pac-10 opener between these two, the Washington Huskies set to take the field against the number three team in the nation, the Trojans of USC. Washington won the toss. They defer, so it'll be the Trojans who will get the ball first. Joe McKnight, about three yards deep, takes a knee, and we'll see. Quick Kesnick was Jeff Corp as the quarterback. Joe McKnight has had flu-like symptoms through the week. He is getting a start. They're gonna throw on first snap. They swing it out to McKnight, dropped behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Taylor Mays, the outstanding safety, is out with a knee injury. He was in street clothes, came out, tried to give it a go, and couldn't. Play action. Corp throws on the run. He's got Damian Williams near a first down, maybe just short, about a yard short. Williams with his first. Keeshan brought him up here. There are five different members of this staff who used to be at USC. First and ten. They're going to keep it on the ground. McKnight busts through, close to another first down. Just inside the 45, the long count. Corp's going to hand it off. Big time hole for Havili, the fullback to the outside. Inside the 10, finally brought down by Justin Glenn, the free catching the ball out of the backfield as well. Does a little bit of everything for the Trojans. First and goal from the seven. McKnight looking for a seam. He's got a big one. Easily into the end zone, Joe McKnight. Well, that offensive line, which just may be the best in the country, clearing running lanes down the field off the drive what a beautiful way to start your career as a starter jordan congdon on for the extra purry for usc early in this season so locker the pac-10 freshman of the year a couple of seasons ago at the thumb injury last year going to hand it off to his running back chris hope all the way out to the 40-yard line and a first down for the huskies check out david on impact players now jordan pulp one of the wideouts Quick drop, quick throw, Walker, what a catch. James Johnson coming back to the side. Play. They lose nine starters because Sharice Wright would have started at cornerback, and he's out for academic reasons. Walker under pressure is going to go down. Back at the 43. Everson Griffin. The wheels have come out of the bottom. Do they? Yeah, just in case. All right. USC backed up. First down. You're going to keep it on the ground. What a hole. Huge hole for McKnight across the 30, out to the 33, and dare I say it, you and I can stay in the national title hunt. Second and 10 from the 32. Stephon Johnson, now the running back. Quick out, Damian Williams, his second catch, gets across the 40, he's loose. Out to midfield. Johnson again, who's also had flu-like symptoms this week. There he goes. Inside the 31, got a beat, and he falls down. Inside handoff, nothing doing. Couple yard gain, that's it for Havila. Early in this game, running against an eight man front. Congdon, a transfer from Nebraska. This would be his longest of the season, and he gets it. Just inside that right upright. To Griffin. SC can bring pressure a number of different ways. This time out of the backfield, Paul Homer, the fullback, carrying people with him. He's got a first down. Homer, the senior from... So McAllister getting the start. He's at that hip injury. Walker throws. Got his man. Johnson with the catch at the 36. First down, Husky. Kind of offensive line here in Seattle. Second and 12. Walker out of the gun again. Over the middle, wide open. Devin Aguilar, big catch all the way down. Top five teams on the road. Yeah, it's been ugly for Texas Tech down in Austin. Walker wants to throw. He's got his man wide open inside the 10, all the way down to the four. Jory Ferguson. And it'll be first and goal, Huskies. Not successful. The second one knocking on the door right now. First and goal, he's looking to run it, and he can do that, and does. Touchdown, Washington. Sarkeesian with a quarterback like Locker. He does that as well as anyone. Eric Folk on for the extra point. Guess what? Got a game here in the pack. 
Anthony McCoy, the big tight end in motion on first down. Cork to throw. He's got his man. It's Williams again near another first down. Third catch of the, of the second quarter. 10-7 USC over Washington. Allen Bradford, the tailback, gets the handoff. Good hole. Good game. Up to the 45. So McNutt playing on grass. I think if you ask any football player, they'd, they'd give you the same response. Bradford, the tailback again on second and two, a big game. Well, they've opened up. It, it seems redundant because you say it. Gill, that's not easy to put the football on the ground and, and leave it still for a big offensive line. Crowd into it for a big third down play. Complete. Good move inside the 40. Looks to be shy of the first down, though. Bryce Butler, who's the third one. Stephon Johnson right behind Stanley Havili out of the eye. Johnson got a first down. Lost the football. Washington jumps on it. Husky ball. Exactly. <laughs> Walker. We'll see if he listens. Yeah. Pitch the Polk. Can't get outside. Well, a good pursuit, and that's the guy we were talking about up here in this third and long situation. Here comes the crowd. Court throws behind his intended receiver and incomplete. Bryce Butler was the man there. But it brings up fourth and ten. Offense for Washington. Bogerson, a, a safety last year. Ty Willingham uh, got no explanation. Just said, we're moving you to safety. And back to tailback this year. Walker throws it away. And the flag comes out. I mean, he just tossed it to the ground as he jumped out of bounds. Tied. Personal foul, roughly passer, number 93 on the defense. 15-yard penalty. Wow. First down. Yeah, so it had nothing to do with the throw. He's outside the pocket. He's doing a nice job of, of chewing up some clock and picking up some yards on the ground. As the rain starts to fall now here in Seattle. Pump fake. Walker gets out of the pocket and then goes down. Chased down from behind. So he's got speed. You know he can roll to help those corners. But the pressure is very tough for an offensive line. Third and 17. Walker lost it up. Complete down the near sideline. Jermaine Kurtz with the catch. First down. He never really took a look. I mean, if he beats Griffin, he gets at least within the five. That's the, the worst he gets. Two Trojans on that side of the field. That's it. Now he looks to run. Hit hard. Spins his way inside the 10 to the 8. Kevin Thomas, quarterback in the conference. Saw the numbers back in 07. He ran for almost 1,000. Walker out of the gun again with time. Flushed out. Throws complete. Flag on the play. May have been out of bounds first. Cavario Middleton, it looked to me like he stepped out first. Eric Folk, the sophomore from Woodland Hills, California, on for a 28-yard try. Up and good. Tied up at 10 with 4.09. Here comes the pressure. Under pressure, complete across midfield. Havili with a catch and a big gain all the way down to the backs can get out in space and make those kinds of plays. Stanley's going to run it this time. Down to the 27, so you just shy it. You stop the clock, and then you get right back up to the line of scrimmage. Williams in motion. They keep it on the ground. Avili's going to get dumped for a loss. Back at the 32. And that's going to be the end. And they're going to scramble to try to get the field goal team on. They whistle it dead. Uh-uh. It's not going to work. That'll do it. So the Trojans not able to get points on the board with that final drive right before the break. And look at the Huskies headed to the locker room. Second and 10 for Locker. Under center this time. Play action on the run. Does this very well. Reverses. Looking for a seam somewhere. Gets a block. Springs it to the outside. There is Jake Locker at his best. I mean, he may have run 50 yards on that. He is athletic. Trojans coming. 
Here they come. They set up the screen. Walker throws it away. Screenplay worked well for them in that uh, opening game against LSU. Well, they had the screen set up there wide to Polk. Yeah. Third and long. Here comes the crowd again. Swing pass. McKnight. Oh, what a sidestep. Shy of a first down, and there is yet another penalty marker down. Ah, uh, but that's a little... Sideline interference on the defense. That's a five-yard penalty from the dead ball spot. First down. Wow. And that is big. McKnight can't find it one way. Comes this way. He's got a first down. The quickness of McKnight to read it. Get hit, bounce out, but it's first and 10 at the 25. Avili leading Stephon Johnson. He's got a hole and a big gain inside the 15, down to the 14 as we get to play at this situation. But overall, you don't have that to keep a defense honest. Four pros under pressure. Havili slips outside the 15. The ball comes loose late. We'll see if they whistle it dead first. Yeah, and he might have been down there. No, Washington football. What a big figure your offensive line's going to pick up the first down for you, and the clock stop. Third and three. Wow, he brought it back in, Locker did. He's got James Johnson, who makes the move to the outside and has a first down. How about Locker? Job of managing this game. Three receivers set. They spread him out. Low snap off the ground. And shortstop picking that one up. Complete over the middle. Locker still able to get the completion. To this guy's more dangerous than what they faced last week at Ohio State. Middleton incomplete. Can't hang on. That's a tough one to catch there. Will Harris with a chance. Go will be in Eugene for Cal and Oregon. Next week, Cal a big win today. First and ten. Keep it on the ground. Havili around a couple. Cross midfield, close to a first down. Stand first team to ever win three straight Rose Bowls. They did that last year against Penn State. On to four straight. Corp throws deep over the middle. Contact. There's the flag. Yep. No question about it. Desmond Trufant penalty on pass interference. Pass interference on the defense number six. It's a 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Still can't believe Corp got that ball through Foster. First and ten. Play action. Corp throws off his back foot. He's got Havili, his favorite target today. He fights his way down to the 22. The fourth catch. It. Stephon Johnson. In at tailback on second and two. Port throws double coverage intercepted. He threw it right to him. Donald Butler with the pick. And gets off the block and makes a great play on the sideline. First and 10 from the 39. Quick throw to the sideline. James Johnson with another catch. The set away to live with his brother, one of 14 kids, the youngest of 14. And now on the major college level, Hope the carry right about that shoe game. And a touchdown on his first catch, by the way, of his career. He's got four this afternoon. Set up the screen. Good win. Got a blocker. And a first down. Hit hard at the 39 of USC now. Walker throws back this way. Got his tight end. Cross the 30. Middleton. And three receivers. They split the backs again. A ground ball back to Walker. He picks it up. Throws. And is on target. Complete. He's got another first down. USC. Their season... On the line, remember that game after Ohio State last year, cost him a shot at a national title. Third and 21, Walker going to the end zone through the hands of Hope. To go up three. Down, up. Good. Help. 
the USC has had no less than four scoring drives and without points. Turnovers, they needed USC to handle the ball sloppy at times. He's gotten that, and look at this team. He's leading the hop. Got the headset knocked off. And what he's done by taking a lead is he has put the game in the hands of Aaron Cork, and that was the game plan. Over on the sidelines watching. Cork throws, batted down. Guess who? Foster again. Hart at Husky Stadium. Third down, blocker, batted down at the line of scrimmage. And they'll bring up fourth. No pressure. And a good punt. Williams from his own 15. Got through one, got through another. Here he comes. Breaks another tackle and is still up. Finally brought down at the 44. So he gives USC to go. It was with seven minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock that the Trojans took over and started that long march down the field. Seven minute mark, McKnight lost the football. Trojans have it at the 22, at least they did initially. David Osbury came up with the fumble as McKnight just. Johnson to the 10. It'll be first down. Court to run. Almost got away. And brought like the one they'd have to get. Long count. Johnson, nowhere to run. Lost a yard or two. Donald Butler is at age from 25. And good. And silence takes over inside Huskies. He's going to have to get some things done with his arm. It's a matter of this Washington offensive line. Can they protect him? No. They can't. At least not on first down. Nick. Areas second and 22, and you're back just outside your own 20. Another low snap. He's had to deal with a number of those today. Holt out of the backfield, couple of nice moves, and brought down at the 27. It's in Colt first the wideouts. Locker over the middle, got his man. Big time throw and catch for a first down. Jermaine Curse held on. I mean, if they don't pick that up, you're punting with just under three minutes left. Giving it back to the Trojan offense. Hold the big gain over the right side to the 43. Play action here with the Jake Locker roll. There he goes. Going to tuck it and run. Will he get there? Yes. On the dive. to 10 Washington now field goal drive about 52 yards is in the back pocket for the Husky Locker's been big today scrambling looking to throw on the run complete to the 15 huge catch curse but there is a flag down at the 45 we'll see against USC. Pete Carroll and the Trojan. 33 seconds left. They'll keep it on the ground. Holt hit hard just inside the five. Luther Brown on the stop. I think Pete Carroll. Game on the line. He got it. Huskies up by three. With three left. When 
the season began with all that USC had to replace on defense. Well, you know the Trojans have, have practiced this right here. They're going to try to keep the ball alive as long as they can. They squib it to the 18. Johnson bringing it back. Stefan looking for room. McKnight trying to throw a block. Ball is up. Still running. Flag is down. That's it anywhere. Huskies upset the Trojans here in Seattle.